Hello, and good afternoon. Thank you for tuning in to another Pineapple Bites video training session. In this video training session, we're going to review how to clear a back office password from an existing user that may be locked out of Aloha Manager. As best practice, we always recommend having individual login accounts for each user that uses Aloha Manager to prevent passwords from changing more frequently and from users getting locked out. A very common thing that may happen with end users is a password is tried too many times and the end user gets locked out of Aloha Manager. If we take a look at that error that they may be familiar with, you will see here user 125. If we try the login using their password, it's going to come up with an error saying it's exceeded the number of login attempts. You've exceeded the allowed number of login attempts. This user account has been disabled. You must contact the system administrator and have your password reset. So with this particular account, the password has been tried too many times and has been put in incorrectly, where then all of a sudden, I believe it's after six times, the actual software is going to lock that user out. They're not going to be able to get into Aloha Manager anymore. So in this video tutorial, we'll tell you how to log in under another user who has access to Aloha Manager and reset the password for this employee who is currently locked out. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to log in under the employee that is not currently locked out of the Aloha software. We're going to go to the Maintenance, Labor, Employees. We're going to go ahead and hit this drop down list here to find the employee who is locked out of the system. So in this particular example, it was employee number 125. We're going to click on the above store settings tab. And then we're going to click on reset password. With the reset password, you just have to enter in a temporary password. It doesn't need to meet the strong requirements as it's just going to be used for temporary purposes. We like to use the word temp, as in temporary. So T-E-M-P, T-E-M-P. We go ahead and we save that. We can hit yes to the real-time update. It's got a prompt, say the password was successfully reset. So now we can tell that employee that they can log in using their user number 125 and enter in temp as their password. So we'll go ahead and we'll try that now. We'll log out of our user. We'll log in under 125 and we'll use that temporary password that was assigned, which is TMP, temp. And now, since we go to sign in, it's going to ask the user to create their own unique password now. This is going to not be a temporary one. This will be the one that lasts for the 90 days until they have to change it again. So the user is then going to have to create their own unique password. So we'll go ahead and we'll just create a new password for ourselves. Go ahead and save that. And now we're able to get logged back into Aloha Manager again. So those are the steps on how you can log in under another user that has access to Aloha Manager and reset the password for an employer or another user that is currently locked out of Aloha Manager. Hopefully this uh, helped you out and uh, thank you for tuning in and have a great day.